got to pull up my radar again, everybody. This is how it's going to be every so often. I'm just going to pull it up. This one. Shark. Shark rod. He's on there. Let's go. Let's go, Chad. This is a giant bait. Come on. I really... Oh, I hope he gets the hook, people. I really hope he gets the hook. Let's go. There's a shark eating it right now, pulling it away. Let's go, people. The sharks are here, at least. Let's go. I think lines are in you. I'm going to ha hand this over to Girthy whenever he's got free hands. All right, dude. All right. Here it is. When you want me set up? We're going to let him eat it for a little while. I mean, that's a giant bait, basically. And I have definitely a lower hookup percentage with the, the big baits. So let him eat for a few minutes. As long as it seems like he's heading to clear water, which he is, we're going to let him eat, chat. Let's go, people. Let's go. We'll see how it goes. It's taken for real. It's taken quite a bit of line, too. Yeah, this one isn't playing around. No, Man, not at all. Something. Yeah? It's just a big bait. A lot of times you want to see some head shaking. Oh, the wind is whistling, people. Hopefully we can get this to happen. Yeah. And I'd say, I mean... I basically leave it up to you whenever you think he's ready. He's been eating for a solid 30 seconds already. Right. He's going to kind of want to tighten it up to wherever you're comfortable. Tighten, 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 tighten. It seems like you got him on. You want to be as tight as you're comfortable with. There he is, people. Let's go. See if we need to chase after him or not. You're going to be able to pull him back here or not. He's smoking us. He's smoking us. Fire it up. Fire it up, GCG. Get off the anchor. Here, I'll drive, man. Can I start gaining some line back? I assume we're gaining. I think we should be all right. Um, I, I'm not thinking about that yet. Let's go. Try to get up on him a little bit here. Perfect, perfect, let's go. He's still running, huh? There we go, people. Good. Nice, nice, nice. Here we go, people. Slowly creep up on them, making sure no boats are coming at us through the channel here. That one red marker has got me tripping a little bit. I'm going to try to get up ahead of it and try to decide where it's going, but keep the pressure on them if you can. We want to get them coming our way. Oh, another boat here kind of coming at us. Hopefully that guy doesn't do anything crazy. But eventually I'm going to make a hard turn here. Kind of try to establish a position in front of this other boat. But it looks like you're keeping the line tight, right? Yeah, I'm on it. Nice, perfect. And it looks like he is out in front of this marker. Doing good, people! It's happening! Shark on! Let's see what we can do! It looks like he's out in some open water. Pumping on it real good. Girthy's doing work. Looks like he's kind of coming back at us too. Girthy's getting a lot of line. So we might just hang here for a second. Let him get nice and tight to that fish. Oh, he is. It's pulling. Let's go, people. It looks like a good one, people. This one looks like a good one, maybe. We'll see what we got. I mean, it ate that whole... That whole grouper carcass, that was a big bait. I'm just kind of bumping it in and out of gear, keeping us moving forward, but making sure that Girthy's able to keep the line tight. You know, I don't want to get too fast up on this fish. That Girthy can't keep up. You really got to keep your line tight. That's crucial. Let's go, shark on! I assume we're gaining back a whole lot of line too. Oh, 
I like it. I like it. Let's go, Chad. <laughs> yeah, good point. Let's go. Hopefully we can keep it tight. Keep them coming. There, oh, the grouper's up on the line again. Okay, I'm going to get the knife out just in case. If it's possible to cut it off, I want to try. Because y'all remember what happened last time with that barracuda. Just little minor adjustments I'm making here. It's girthy out here cranking on a big shark. Ooh, the head shakes. The head shakes, chat. Is it? We'll try it. Make sure, see if it's, see if you can slide it down, man. Or, or cut it. Do you think, look at it and see if, there, if you think you can cut it. You got to keep that line tight though, Girthy. Doing good, man. Doing great. We're, 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 we're starting to get right up on top of it too. These, these fish heads sliding up the line is really becoming a problem. You don't think you can cut it? Okay, good enough. Just got to try to keep it as tight as possible. When you can, try to slide that grouper down onto, onto our... our uh, I'm going to put it in reverse for a second even. Scope it out a little bit so that grouper is not making such an impact. Spinning it back around. I'm pretty sure this other boat is like watching us. They're slowly cruising behind us. Nice, I like it, I like it. Yeah, we got some spectators seeing what we got going on. I wonder if they were stream sniping us. That grouper head, it really, really is tough, but hopefully it's not gonna cause us to lose this fish, everybody. You can see how it's changing the angle of the line. Yeah, if we could get it to slide down, that would be ideal. Pump it, pump it, exactly. Oh, that grouper head. That's the thing about using head pieces. It seems to happen a lot. How you doing, man? How you doing? Good. And this is actually, I was talking today about using heavier braid for this reason, in case you get a bait sliding up and down your line, increased abrasion resistance. Nice, nice, nice. Keep on trying to slide that thing on down. We're kind of getting blown to the side here. I'm going to get us going a little bit further ahead into the wind, try to catch up to it. It slid all the way up the line. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. That grouper head's really causing problems, honestly. But you got a good line. I'm so worried the braid will snap, that's the fear. That's definitely the fear. I honestly don't even know how much line we have out right now. It's definitely hard to tell. I definitely understand that. But if, there's, if, if you can figure out a way, potentially, I mean, it's gonna be hard to do here with the waves and everything. I think the fish is pretty close. Okay. Can I grab the meat and cut it up? I can try, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could definitely try that. Definitely, I have the knife right here. We're getting slid over to the left here. I gotta kind of bump us towards this fish a little bit, so. There you go, Girthy, there you go. Pump and crank, pump and crank. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Let's get him. You're fishy, fishy. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Turn that handle, turn the handle. Sweet. Well, yeah, if you have to get around the boat, there you go, perfect, perfect. We'll try to kind of get us off. Sweet, 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 sweet. We might be getting a look at him soon. Hopefully we'll see the leader pretty soon. Trying to keep us off of the flat here. We're kind of getting blown towards it. Oh, there it is. Leader, leader, leader. 
Oh, it went down. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Head shakes. This is going to be a good fish, everybody. We got to get that leader touch. And don't hold on to it if you don't have to. You got you to gotta reel, reel down and crank up one more time. There you go. There it is. Leader touch. Let, let go if you have to, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. Here we go. Grabbing a knife. Stay tight on it. Stay tight on it. I'll be able to cut this. Don't worry about me. We'll worry about the fish. It's a bull. I can't. Okay, there's one. Hopefully that's going to be okay for now. Here's the fish, people. Make sure that you're watching the fish. It's, it's priority. Let's go! That's a bull shark, people. Official catch. Yeah, it's loosened. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice. Here it is, people. Let's get a good look. Get there, get there. He's under the boat. Watch your fingers. Watch your wrap. You're back on him? Yeah. Okay. Let's go, people. Nice bull shark. <laughs> These people are just getting the show. And I got, I, the, the grouper is going to be easy to cut off from here. Here we go, here we go. Yo, reel down and pull him up, buddy. Reel down, pull him up. Gotta get that leader up. You gotta lift this fish. There he is, there he is. If I have a chance to cut that thing, I will. But your priority, GCG, is, is just leadering the fish. You can back off your drag of hair and make sure you don't get tip wrapped. That's the main thing. Perfect, good job, dude. Good job, let's get a good look at him. Here he is. Big oh. fish, holy. Whoa. Look at that one, y'all. It has a tag, it's tagged. I'm pretty sure it's tagged. I wanna try to look at this tag, everybody. Let me see if I can cut the grouper off. Big bull shark, Whoa. let's go. He stays chill for just one second. Perfect. Could be our next bait. It's tagged. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a good look at the tag. Amazing. Look at the size of this bull. How crazy. Um, let's see if there's a better way for us to do this. I feel like I'm hooked in the, in the leg here. Okay. Slide him. Yeah, if you could get him sliding on back a little bit. And then try to pull him back your way. Look at the size of this one. Oh eating our chum bag We're hooked right in the corner like it should be let's go people big fish i need to grab the dorsal and try to scoot him over holy big fish people this one is over seven easily the problem is the hook is on the the, the tags on the other side of the fish let's see if we can slide him on back one more time here and try to pull him back this way yep like this like this like this like this perfect be easy. There you go. He doesn't want it. I gotta be careful here. I would love to be able to read this tag. It's very rare to catch a tagged fish, to be honest. Big bull shark. We got him quick today, too. What a beast. It's, it's, it's covered in algae. I'm gonna have to get my fingers on it and rub it a little bit and get a close look. I don't know if cutting it off would be the right move, actually. Again, you gotta pull the fish over. Let's... He didn't like it. He doesn't like it, chat. He doesn't like it. Let's see here. Flip them on over. Fat fish, people. Come here. They're hard to hold on to. There we go. It has a it has it has a satellite tr transponder on it. I'm pretty sure this one has no number. It's just a little pinging tag, I believe. This might be one of those tags that when it when it comes up above the, the surface of the water, it transmits a signal because it looks like it has no number on it. It has like a, a narrow area here, almost like heavy fishing line, and then a, a larger fatter. Oh. Just kind of make sure we're not drifting into anything, if you don't mind. Coming up on the buoys in a little bit, but we got time. Okay. Here we go. I got a number. 406070 people 406070 406070 whatever that means a green t a yellow tag here 
being super chill all of a sudden. Trying to read every detail I can. Open that way. Are you supposed to remove this thing? Oh, 406070. That might be the best that we end up having here. This truck better be chill. That's it, people. We'll have to figure out how we can get this information to someone. I don't even know. Should we try? We need our, our, our three foot measure. Hold it up real good so that y'all can get a feel for how long this fish is. Unique number, do not remove it. Yep, that's what I thought. This is a three foot measure, people. That's three feet, 36 inches. Try to pull them sideways again if we can. Three foot measure, y'all. I'm gonna hold here. You. I wanna put it right up against them somehow. That's more or less to the nose, to there is three feet. That's the middle of the dorsal. Yeah, big, more or less to the middle of the dorsal. Or just slap that right there on him sideways. Unfortunately, you can't really see the tail too well. Maybe I can do it from the tail end a little better. Although I might end up getting tail whipped here. These fish, they actually chill out pretty good next to the boat. I'm not worried about overstressing the shark. It's, can, can you tell? Can you get a feel for how long it is? Trying to get to its nose. Its nose is right around there. That's three foot to about the middle of the dorsal. So how far is it back from the middle of the dorsal to the end of the fish? Another five. You know, if you were to put this there to there. This one is easily over six. I would say easily seven, maybe a little over seven. All right, and then what? We're gonna try to cut this hook out, people. We have some girthy <laughs> hook cutters. Start with the girthy hooks. We're gonna see if we can't get a good release on him. Who's ready? Bull shark, people, bull shark. He's being mad chill. See if I can't get him moving forward here. Mm. Look at him swimming Whoa. on down. The bull cutter, Chad. Everything worked perfectly. We did it, y'all. Let's go. Attack shark. Amazing, people. Girthy out here doing work. Moderator hype, chat. Moderator hype. Let's get back on our buoy. We gotta catch more fish. It's not raining yet. It was worth it. It was worth it. Way to go, boys. Nice release. Awesome catch. Clean. Hey, I am stoked. Woo. Real one, dude. Real one. Yeah. That's a big fish. What a fatty. That was fun. Let's go, people.